Good morning everyone. Today we'll talk about the heights shown in the topographical sheets. So today we are going to study all the important heights in that the first height which we are going to take is the triangulated height. Triangulated height basically it is depicted on a map with a triangle with a numerical data. It means when a point is accurately surveyed and shown with a triangle it is called triangulation point and the height of such point is referred to as a triangulated height. In map example on topographical sheet you can see here this is the exact way to represent a triangulated height. This height is marked after a survey of the nearby areas and this has no concern with the sea level. Next height we will go for the spot height. It refers to a point on the ground above the mean sea level. The important word here is above mean sea level. It indicates, it is indicated on the map but not on the ground. This height is basically, it is taken or counted from the mean sea level. It is represented by a dot followed by a number. Example you see here it is a dot it is followed by a number. For example in topographical sheet you will see it like this. Here two dot is there and it is followed by a number. This number means it is giving a height of a particular place above mean sea level and it is always represented in meter. We will proceed forward for the next height. Third is the benchmark. These are the marks attached on a stone or shown on a buildings to indicate the accurate height determined by the surveyors. A benchmark is written as BM followed by a number. Okay. Most important thing is the, in this height is that it, is, it indicates the height of some point marked above the ground and includes the height of the object in it. And in this map you can see here it is represented as BM. Means you will find all the on the old monuments or tombs basically something a plate on which it will be marked BM226. So that mark is marked by the surveyors after their great efforts that is they have determined the exact height of that particular place. Okay, and that is taken from the ground level, it is not taken from the mean sea level. In topographical sheet, basically, its sign is important through which we can consider or we can take into the consideration this height. Next, so this next is the relative height. Fourth, it is the relative height, and this is the most important height which is taken into consideration into this topographical map. This represents the difference between the maximum and minimum and is represented by a letter means maximum it is next it is always taken from the ground level it is taken from the ground level it is not taken from the or not counted from the mean sea level it is represented by important word it is represented by a small letter r followed by a number for example you see it is written beside the hills for example suppose this is 3 r and this symbol which it is representing is embankment okay embankment it is the arrangement made to prevent the spreading of water during the flood or any other occasions so this represents that the wall the temporary wall which is built here is 3 meter above the ground level so the height of that wall is 3 meter and this represents a relative height. In the case of well, we'll have to write, it represents a depth of a well. Important word is depth of a well. Suppose it is given 10 R, 10 meter below the, uh, below the ground surface. So here, important point, hills, trees, walls, etc. are shown height above the ground, wh whereas well, depression etc so the depressions into the ground means this are marked above the ground level 
whereas when we talk about these features these are marked into the or into the ground so these are the important heights i hope you enjoyed and understood it thank you